Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today I would like to do some flip throughs of some new books that I got. So let's get on with it. The first book I have is by Christopher Hart. Now he has a whole bunch of books out um, showing you how to draw and a lot of it is, you know, chibi and kawaii type of pictures, but he does have a couple of coloring books out too. And yes, I know it's not Christmas, but this was just so cute. Came up in my list of suggested um, books on Amazon. And so I took a look at it and I thought it was adorable. So let's go ahead and look at it. It's kind of a thick book and it's on very nice paper. It is definitely not Amazon paper, but it's extremely smooth. So not a whole lot of tooth to it. So I'm not sure how colored pencil will work in here, but markers would work awesome. And gel pens would work great in this book. Let me, uh, seems like my camera's a little crooked. There we go. Let me zoom you in just a tad. Okay. So it says Adorable Manga Characters to Color. Again, it's by Christopher Hart. And I just think these are so adorable. This would be good for the Christmas in July that's coming up. And boy, just a few months now. Holy cow. Maybe we're just a tad too close. There we go. Isn't that cute? This would be fun to color. I don't know if it's a sunrise or a sunset. Maybe it's a sunset because Santa's going to be coming. <laughs> yeah, just all kinds of really cute manga girls and guys. I will leave links down below in the description to all of these books that I'm going to show you. Most of these pictures have a lot of stuff in the background. So those of us who don't like doing backgrounds <laughs> or coming up with things to put in the backgrounds, there's a lot of stuff in the backgrounds to color. I like this one. Checking off who's naughty and who's nice. Oh, that was so cute. Doesn't he look like he's sticking his tongue out? I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> to me, it looked like he was sticking his tongue out. Uh, isn't that nice of you, Santa? I thought this would be fun to color in the background with all the trees and the presents. I could just see me getting out my gel pens for that. <laughs> That's a skinny Santa. <laughs> Riding a reindeer. I think Rudolph is saying, ah, that's too much. You are breaking my back. Oh, that's cute. Looks like a little baby manga sleeping, dreaming of Christmas. <laughs> Bringing home the Christmas tree. Oh, look at the kitty in the stocking. All the kitties in the background for all you kitty lovers out there. <laughs> now that a stack full of presents, hmm? Huh? Look at all the ballerinas. Hmm, snowball fight. I'm not sure, is he trying to stuff the tree down into the house here? Or I'm not quite sure what's happening in there. Doggy with all the doggy bones. 
cookie making factory. <laughs> They're just so cutesy. My book keeps sliding away on me. Somebody got a gaming system, huh? Oh, look it. Kissing under the mistletoe. <laughs> nom nom. <laughs> I think they're supposed to be for Santa. Is that Santa? <laughs> Santa looks perturbed. <laughs> Shopping. <laughs> Must be in like a tent or something. Oh, look at the angels decorating the tree. Let me tone this down a little bit. Seems kind of bright. And it's a little too dark. How's that? Xylophone. Right. Two? No. <laughs> That's how thick this paper is. I always feel like I'm getting two sheets here, but it's, it's just that thick of paper. And they are single-sided, so yeah, a marker would work great on this. And that's what I will be trying first. Oh, I love this. Elf stole a cookie and showed where the cookie was supposed to be. <laughs> Elves busy at work. Hmm. That's got me puzzled. I understand her, but I'm not sure if I understand this. Does she just have her head turned to the side? And this is her hair? I don't know. I'm thinking that's what it is. <laughs> oh, there's a unicorn. Toy soldiers. More making toys. <laughs> Rudolph. And that's all. So yeah, that's a, a thick, heavy-duty book. I just thought it was so cute. Like I don't have enough Christmas books, but hey, can always use more, right? Then I got Hummingbird Coloring Book. This is by Coloring Book Cafe. And I know they have a ton of books out, but... This may actually be my first coloring book cafe book that I bought. An adult coloring book featuring charming hummingbirds, beautiful flowers, and nature patterns for stress relief and relaxation. Nameplate page, and this does feel like Amazon paper. Then you can get... Um, 30 page free beautiful adult coloring book. You can claim it at this website. All right, so let's look at all of the pretty hummingbirds. I'm gonna try turning this light away a little bit and see if that helps. There, that seems a little better. This book is so pretty. I just love hummingbirds. Look at that. Oh, and all the flowers and leaves in here. Mm. So much fun. Look at all the daisies. 
the wood, you know, the contrasting wood colors and stuff would be fun on this picture. Look at the lilies. Even a little ladybug in there. Oh, I love this one. I'm assuming these must be pansies, but they must be awful big pansies. <laughs> Those could be fun to color. And now that's different. Having this go through it. Feeding the babies. <laughs> in a little nest. I think hummingbirds are just so cute. And there's so many pretty colorful kinds. Oh, with the squirrel. Oh, now that could be a pretty picture. And again, this book is single-sided, so could use markers, pens, pencils, whatever. Mm. I have to get at this book. Ooh, look at the lilacs. And that is that. To show you on the back thumbnail of some of the pages in here. So that is Hummingbird Coloring Book. Then I bought a few of Sherry Baldy's um, books. I am probably one of the few that did not have any of Sherry Baldy's books, and she's got a lot out there. Um, so this one is My Besties Chibi-Kawaii Coloring Book, and there are 50 pages in here. There's 25 images, so you always get two of each in her book, just like Jade Summer. But whereas Jade Summer puts a whole set of one, and then the second set afterwards, she puts the second copy right behind the first copy. So set up a little bit differently. Shows the author, what Sherry looks like, some things about her, social information, and then we get into the book. So again, there's two copies of each, so I'll just kind of flip past the second copy. I just, again, I thought they were so cute, and the hair and the skin would be so much fun to color. And look at her little shoes or slippers. Now, this is one thing that I think I was a little bit disappointed about in this book, is there seems to be a lot of what I think of as maybe like filler pages to get to the 25 images because <laughs> you'll see there's a number of these types of pages in this book. And here's another one. And I suppose some of you may like that and you want to, you know, maybe just draw or color in just one piece if you don't want to do a whole page. I would just prefer to have more regular pages to color. And another one. And another one. 
So there are some, you know, curly hair, there's some straight hair, some wavy hair. So there's a lot of, you know, practicing you can do with hair in this book. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Uh, uh, all the little hearts. Looks like a fairy teddy bear. <laughs> There's some ringlets. <laughs> She's so cute. Got on a lot of these, it will have you know something color related, like this one has Copic. I think one of the other one had what was it, a Sharpie or something. Oh, look at these flowers. <laughs> Is that adorable? Uh, I love it. All right. And then again, there's a little blurb back here about Sherry Baldy. And that is that. And again, that one is my besties Chibi Dash Kawaii coloring book. It's volume number 37. And then I got another Sherry Baldy. This is Making Faces coloring book. My besties. I think they're all called my besties, aren't they? And this one is the Making Faces coloring book. Again, I believe there's 50 images, um, or 25 images, 50 pages, because there's two of each. Again, starts out with an About the Author page, and then we get into the book. whole bunch of them. All you can see is a big black eye staring at you, right? <laughs> these are all like in these frames. That is one big dog. Is that a dog? I think so, huh? It's bigger than her. <laughs> That's cute. Can't you just hear her going? <laughs> mm -hmm. Took me a while to realize she's got a monocle in. <laughs> it's like, that is a weird looking eye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A little princess. <laughs> I 
Это Пеги. All my heart. Now, if you want to color big faces, boy, this is the book for you. Because <laughs> they are big. There's some curly hair. Just some more of that real cutesy manga chibi kawaii type of pictures. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Little puppy. And that's it. All right. So that one was Making Faces coloring book. Then the last Sherry Baldy book I bought is My Besties April Showers and Spring Things. And again, I'm assuming 50 images, 25 images. I said it again. Uh, two copies of each. Oh, it starts out a little bit differently. This one does not have an about the author and actually has a name page. Special thanks to my besties colorist. So she has listed who colored the front cover and who colored the back cover. And there is about the author again. And then the book. <laughs> These are so cute. I think this one is the my favorite of the three. Those are all cutesy flowers. All oh, these would be fun to color. Isn't that cute? <laughs> She's even got flowers coming out of her shoes. Practice your braids. She's sitting on the moon. <laughs> Dangling a carrot. Oh. <laughs> Bunny with kitty slippers, or is, are, are them bunny slippers? They look more like kitty ears. Ah, 
<laughs> a dragon. That's cute too. Oh, one sideways. We have the birdies. Oh, the rest of them are going to be landscape now. Look at that toy doll. Yep. Oh, that's cute. I just kind of really quickly glanced through these books. I didn't really look at every page. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Seems like there's more involved in a lot of these pictures than some of the others. <laughs> and that is that. Okay, so that one again was my besties April showers and spring things. All right, the last book I'm going to show you, and I'm sure you have seen this. There have been many flip-throughs um, of it since it came out. This is Jennifer Zimmerman's newest uh, book, The Secrets of Coloring 2. Um, this is step-by-step -step tutorials and tricks of the trade from a professional illustrator. And she goes through so many things in this book. It is just jam-packed, just like the first volume. And she takes you through how to color tons and tons of stuff. Here is the table of contents. And I'm just going to, you know, quickly, you know, we're not going to go through every single page. Um, she just talks about beyond the basics and colored pencils, um, some tools of the trade you can use. Here we get into um, backgrounds, how you can do different types of backgrounds, which is nice, how to create this really pretty background like that. Some more backgrounds which is really neat. She gives you color schemes in here even. Gives you different ways of, you know, when you look at the light source and shadows effects and things like that. How to do chocolate, which would be nice for Easter. <laughs> Too bad Easter is past. Here's a pink foil Easter egg. Something for Christmas. So yeah, she really takes you step by step by step how to do. Here's gummy bears. Ooh, look at the purple, purple boots. <laughs> and some more. I had some like that. <laughs> Here's some holiday wrapping. Gingerbread men. Christmas decorations. And then, sparkly fabric overlay. Then, color combos for eyes, for skin. And this is using Caran d'Ache Luminance. Okay, so it's using the Caran d'Ache on here. I was hoping it would be Prismacolor. <laughs> Not a lot of people have the luminance. Now here she says Parma Violet, so that must be, yeah, Prismacolor. Okay, so she does use different um, pencil brands in the book. It's not all luminance, so love how she takes you step by step how to get to this. Here's the bird of paradise. So yeah, I mean, she just takes you through so many different things and just, again, takes you step by step by step how to 
color these objects, how to add your highlights, how to blend your colors together. Now, here is your sheets that you can practice on. And she made it um, the toned paper. Um, it says it is recommended to print pages such as these onto real toned paper for best results because this is very, very smooth. There's no tooth, much tooth at all to this paper. So it would be really hard to color with your colored pencils on here. So probably best bet is to exacto these out and make copies. If you have no toned paper, a FAO toned PDF printed onto cardstock is the next best alternative. And she does give you her Etsy shop where you can purchase the PDF of these. So as you can see, she has all of the images in here for you to color for all the tutorials that she went through in the book. Here she's combining some of the things together. Try different skin tones on each of the Bella Futura ladies. So she does have the Bella Futura book out. Also, she is the illustrator of that book. Here's that pretty um, illuminated mushroom that she showed how to color. Here's that bird of paradise flower. So yeah, it's really a neat, neat book. Koi fish. Is that a Luna moth, I'm assuming? Here's your Christmas baubles and presents, gingerbread man, candy canes. And then here in the back, I think she has this in the first book too. These are conversion charts so that if you don't have, um, say, the Prismacolor, um, you can convert it to, she's got in here, uh, Prismacolor across the top, but then she's got Black Widow, the Colleen's, the Spear Farben, Castle, Marco Ruffine. So, I mean, there's a lot of different uh, colored pencil brands in here that she compares um, the colors to. So, that is great. I've never seen where they showed, you know, the Colleen's and the Spear Farben, much less castle art and the Marco, well, Marco Rafine once in a while, but I've never seen the castle and the Spear Farben Colleen's. So here's another page to that because it, I'm assuming, goes through all 150 colors of the Prismacolor and what they would convert to in the other colored pencils. And of course, not every color in the Prismacolor um, set is going to have a direct match in the other pencil sets because they're just not as big. All right, uh, I guess that is the end of that book. And like I said, there are other channels, many other channels that have done flips of um, this book. So um, you can go ahead and check, you know, their uh, videos out too. But this will be a great addition. So that is that. Just a quick flip flip of some new books that I got. I hope you enjoyed watching these flip throughs. And again, I will link these down below. I hope everybody is having a fantastic weekend. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.